Friends, family, and fellow graduates, welcome to O'Gorman High School's 2021 graduation celebration. The class of 2021 has been challenged in so many unique and unexpected ways. But even in the midst of an ongoing global pandemic, we have kept the faith and persevered. Although we are unable to gather together to celebrate our many accomplishments, we will forever be united as the members of the O'Gorman family. Dear O'Gorman High School graduates, you are completing a, a memorable stage in your lives, the ends of high school. You have grown up physically, intellectually, socially, and spiritually. Let us give thanks to the Lord for all that you have received from your parents, your educators, and your friends. Since 2020, the world has been affected by the pandemic and its effects in, in our daily life, even in the way you studied and the way you are celebrating your graduation. Through this experience, we have become more aware that we are deeply dependent on each other. This is a lesson never to be forgotten. As new stages are opening for you, I ask the Lord to accompany you. May he bring light to your minds in order to deepen your relationship with Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life and to find in him the true meaning of your life. May he keep your eyes open to the needs of your brothers and sisters here and all over the world. May you see them like Jesus would, with the compassionate gaze he sees all of us, being moved by their miseries and rejoicing in their good qualities. May he pour his love into your heart so that you may always be focused on God and on others instead of being only selfishly centered on your own needs. By your hands and your actions, may you bring your contribution to the true happiness of the world. May the good virus of God's love invade you so that through you the world may become better. God bless you. Here we are again, a virtual graduation ceremony. No one could have predicted that we would be living the movie Groundhog Day in real life. Yet here we are. Before I begin, I'd like to thank all the families, teachers, and other faculty for helping you to get to this point. This may not be the graduation you were looking forward to a few years ago, but it's a graduation nonetheless. You did it. You made it to graduation. Be proud of yourselves. We know the story. Your parents walk school uphill both ways in the snow. But what is your story? You get to tell the tale of surviving Zoom classes, bad Wi-Fi, and forgetting to mute yourself. You will have a unique story to tell throughout your life about the circumstances of your senior year. If we have learned anything in the past while, we have learned the value of being together. We have learned that technology is great until it fails. We have learned to find ways to be together even when we're apart. When we stop to observe our surroundings, we are provided with new perspectives. While the past year has been confusing and difficult to navigate, we all learn things about ourselves. We learn to appreciate the small things. We learn to unplug and enjoy the outdoors. We learn the importance of family and the importance of teachers. They didn't sign up for this either. We learn to love a good book and what it really means to binge watch the new Netflix series. Many of us have grown in unexpected ways, new hobbies, new lessons, and new ways of doing the things. We have all learned about the changing world, although we're separated in ways we've never experienced and facing a world that will never be the same. I'm asking you to come together and demand to be better. 
we have all seen the power of a movement led by and for the next generation. You are that next generation. Put your stake in the ground and build the future that you want and fight like heck to get it. When you look back on this disappointing time, how you emerge from it will help define you. More than ever, this is your moment, your generation's world to shape. While the future is still uncertain, look forward to it. The experiences may look different, but you will still learn something from it. Lean on each other to help you navigate the waters ahead. The world is yours. What are you going to do with it? Here are the few lessons I'd like to leave you with. Laugh. It beats the heck out of crying. Follow your heart, but use your head. Try new things. You will probably screw those things up, but at least you tried. Don't forget the power of the mute button. Listen, really listen to people around you. Try to see the world from their point of view. Do your research and weigh all your options. Then follow your gut. Always show up. It may look different these days, but find a way to show up in new and innovative ways. Find a job or a career that you are passionate about and not because of the money it pays. People can't see your smile when behind the mask, so let them know you're smiling with your actions. Sometimes the worst things in life that happen to you can be the best things that happen to you. Change your perspective. If you spend your life simply following directions, the only place you'll end up is where somebody else has already been. Don't stress about things you cannot control. Not everything you read on the internet is true. Just be nice to people. A little respect truly does go a long way. It could even solve a, a few of the world's problems. This too shall pass. And the best is certainly yet to come. Find the joy, it's there somewhere. Life rarely hands you a golden opportunity, so make one. The phrase, I don't know, is powerful. By admitting ignorance, you're asking to learn. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, but do learn from the mistakes of others. It's cheaper and it's more efficient. Never be afraid to question the way things are done and don't be satisfied the inevitable response because that's the way we've always done it. Vote. People died for that right. Congratulations, graduates. This is your time. This is your moment. Seize it. Graduates, families, teachers, and administrators, on behalf of the trustees of the Northeastern Catholic District School Board, I would like to congratulate you, the graduating class of 2021, on a well-deserved success during extraordinary circumstances. Your graduation is a tremendous milestone and a huge accomplishment for you, your family, and your extended group of supporters. This year has been like no other, and your dedication hard work and resilience during this pandemic is much to be admired. Remember that not only viruses, but courage and dreams are also contagious. So please go and spread your own dreams. Your O'Gorman High School Catholic education experience has successfully prepared you for the next chapter of your life and will allow you to grow and expand beyond the day you graduate. You have all accomplished so much while navigating a new world and I wish you all the best as you celebrate this great achievement. Graduating in a year that the history books will refer to as the year the world forever changed. And while we are not celebrating in a traditional Catholic way, we applaud your success. No matter what the future holds for you, know that you are bold, brave, and brilliant, and will handle anything that comes your way. Stay positive, work hard, make it happen. Prioritize your health, health of your families, our responsibility to each other, and the hope for a long and promising future. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. Please keep this quote in mind by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Tricia Welts, Director of Education for the Northeastern Catholic District School Board. It is my honor to share a few words with you 
to acknowledge this very special milestone. The class of 2021 will serve as the best example of perseverance, determination, and resilience. Though we tend to think more about all of the things that we have lost these past two years, I would encourage you to think about what you have gained through this experience. Be proud of yourselves for the incredible courage you have shown to make it to this day. Every one of you has overcome your own adversity, and as a result, you have gained strength and wisdom. You have shown such creativity in the ways that you problem solve and communicate. Your resolve has been very strong, and you have proven to be remarkable, hopeful, and successful young adults. As you move forward in your journey, always keep the words of C.S. Lewis in mind. There are far better things ahead than any we leave behind. I wish you every happiness today and always. May you be blessed with many new learning opportunities, richness in love and life, and may your journey bring you endless joy and success. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Ted Welts, and I am the principal of O'Gorman High School. It is my honor to offer congratulations to our graduates on behalf of the OHS community. This day represents a tremendous accomplishment for you and your families. With your hard work and commitment, you have earned your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. We hope that today is just the beginning of many more opportunities for you, regardless of the pathway you now follow. We know that these two final years of your high school career have been deeply impacted by a global pandemic. It has been a difficult road for each of you, but you have responded with such resilience. Please don't let these circumstances define your success or the person you are. Continue to dream and move forward with hope and courage. Use the skills and knowledge you have acquired to make positive change to the world. Remain focused on your goals, stay healthy, and take care of your well-being throughout your life. Always remember that you are just one decision away from a different life. Be thoughtful of others, take care of each other, and continue to be effective communicators and responsible citizens. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of your accomplishments. We wish you all the best today and always. Hello, O'Gorman graduates. Can you hear me? How's my internet connection? Are my mic and camera on? As many of you know, I'm Jack Bueller, and I'm honored to be speaking today on behalf of the O'Gorman class of 2021. To begin, I'd like to thank all of the parents and families who have been involved in our academic success since the start. Today, we're celebrating a substantial accomplishment in each of our lives, the completion of high school. Although comparable at times to a four-year prison sentence, a place we go every day, whether enjoyable or not, it is also a journey, an opportunity, a pilgrimage or a responsibility. It is a transformation from adolescence to adulthood. Whatever we call it, it provides us with invaluable knowledge, friendships, and experiences. As a grade nine, I remember being told that our time here would fly by and that the best way to spend this proverbial prison sentence was to get involved. Looking back now, I'm sure many of us couldn't agree more. Whether it was sitting in a teepee eating hot dogs or riding a bike through the halls of the school at the ThinkFast, serving food at the Lord's Kitchen, lighting up the stage with the Adams Family Musical, or chatting with classmates on a bus ride to a track meet, there are many standout moments when looking back on the high school experience. I hope we both cherish these as meaningful moments of participation and contribution within and towards community and continue to immerse ourselves in opportunities for involvement. Even when reluctant to do so, you never know what an experience may bring you. One thing is for certain, our class has had a heck of an interesting time in high school. Through COVID lockdowns, labor disruptions, and of course, the highly anticipated snow days, I've often found myself wondering if something or somebody is trying to keep us from graduating. Maybe our class will just be missed too much to allow for that to happen. Different students have faced different challenges whether it be mastering new concepts, learning virtually, 
commuting an hour or more to school, or living away from home entirely. But we made it, somehow, through all of the above. And here we are now, at the end of our high school journey, experienced in the art of wearing PJs during class, and maybe even multitasking with a video game on the side. High school is a transformative time. We are so lucky as students of O'Gorman to have a staff that fosters our growth by encouraging us to become involved, challenging us academically, and being fantastic role models for every student. The relationships students form with staff here make O'Gorman a welcoming place and set our school apart as a true community. I'd like to say thank you to all of the grade 12 teachers who put up with our class this year, facilitated our success, and made grade 12 such a memorable time for each of us. Thank you, Mr. Scher, for your interesting science class music videos. Ms. Morrison, for your tolerance of our art class shenanigans. Mr. Basso, for your fearless leadership of Link. Ms. Migno, for your openness to discussion with students. Ms. Marks, for your patience despite all our missed deadlines. Ms. Romanowski, for insisting there be a yearbook, even when there wasn't much of a committee to make it happen. Ms. McDonnell, for your games of tag with your co-op class. And Ms. Maxwell, for always keeping it real. I'm sure we will always remember Mr. Corbett's puns, spinning crates of water around with Mr. Tobias, reading impossible to understand French novels with Miss Stewart, observing Mr. Reed's badminton dominance, seeing Mr. Gauvin rule with an iron fist behind the hockey bench, witnessing Miss McCarty's competitive spirit, and flying kites with Miss Mitchell, as good a symbol as any to represent this moment of celebration. We are truly appreciative of the staff at O'Gorman and all the time and effort they have put in to prepare us for this moment. We are also lucky as a class that we were granted the opportunity to learn together in person again during first semester. Being able to experience grade 12 from a mostly in-person standpoint helped us all reconnect with teachers and friends and experience our final year of high school together. When we see each other in the future, I hope we all manage to recognize one another. I know we've gotten pretty used to seeing people behind a mask. We have all endured loss throughout the past four years and felt its impact on the entire O'Gorman family. As a school that prides itself on its strong relationships between students and staff and a close-knit student body, these moments have been especially challenging and brought us together for a common cause. Mr. Gonzala was a vibrant part of this community who taught many of us religion, geography, and science, and he contributed to both our school and students in a rich way that many will never forget. His old school teaching style was no Mickey Mouse affair, but those who had the opportunity to be his students remember his strong commitment to service, his faith, and his dedication to his role as a teacher. Our class has endured some of the most challenging and volatile years in recent memory. Although much has been lost in this pandemic, we are better for it. The resiliency and flexibility of this year's graduates have been shown time and time again, through it all, lockdown after lockdown. Through these past two years, we have emerged, triumphant and ready to graduate. Some might say this is coming at the worst possible time in our lives, but the world is opening its doors again just as high schools are opening theirs to let us out, and there's no better time to be a high school graduate than now, with a whole new world just emerging again, waiting for the taking. As new opportunities open up to us and we branch off from our shared high school experiences to the various pathways of life, I hope we will all be able to look back fondly on the tumultuous, distressing, but ultimately exciting and rewarding times of high school. As a Catholic school, O'Gorman has instilled in us values that extend beyond the curriculum. Yes, we've had to sit through many long homilies from Monsignor Pat, but we've also been taught the importance of community, morality, service, and faith, and certainly appreciate the tremendous role he has played in our school throughout many years. These values are a part of what bonds us together as the O'Gorman family. Moving forward from today, I hope we all keep these gifts alive in our lives by treating those around us with dignity, involving ourselves in the lives of others and our communities, and living with love, hope, trust, and awe at the world that surrounds us. So, if there are things to be gathered from this speech, here they are. Involve yourself in community, stay resilient always, keep open-minded, allow for growth, have fun, be grateful, maintain positive relationships, and look at the world with love and hope. As Mr. Gonzala used to say so often to his grade nine science class, you gotta have balance. I hope you all find meaning in what you do and explore to your full potential. 
We have all earned this tremendous achievement, and it is my honor to say congratulations, O'Gorman High School graduates of 2021. by the front door Don't forget the keys under the mat When childhood stars shine Always stay humble and kind Go to church cause your mama says to Visit grandpa every chance that you can It won't be wasted time always stay humble and kind hold the door say please say thank you don't steal don't cheat and don't lie I know you've got mountains to climb but always stay humble and kind dreams you're dreaming come to you when the work you put in is realized let yourself feel the pride but always stay humble and kind a free ride from no one don't hold a grudge or a chip and here's why bitterness keeps you from flying always stay humble and kind know the difference between saying I love you and showing somebody your love Love you ain't no pickup line. Always stay humble and kind. Hold the door, say please, say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. I know. Shut off the AC and roll the windows down Let that summer sun shine Always stay humble and kind Don't take for granted the love that God gives you When you get where you're going Don't forget, turn back around And help the next one in line Always stay humble and kind. You can spend your whole life building something from nothing one storm can come and blow it all away build it anyway you can
can chase a dream that seems so out of reach and you know it might not ever come your way dream it anyway God is great but sometimes life ain't good and when I pray it doesn't always turn out like I think it should but I do it anyway This world's gone crazy And it's hard to believe That tomorrow will be better than today Believe it anyway You can love someone with all your heart For all the wrong reasons And in a moment they can choose to walk away Love them anyway. God is great, but sometimes life ain't God. And when I pray, it doesn't always turn out like I think it should. But I do. You can pour your soul out singing A song you believe in That tomorrow they'll forget you ever sang Sing it anyway It's all about the race No turning back Too late Got my bones about to break Body's numb Can't feel the pain
many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every start We are born Spend this time in your 